Now, all this week, we've been bringing you a series of reports about the Darfur you didn't know, from the rebel fighters to the refugees. Now, Mohamed Val follows the trail of the, trail of the nomadic Arabs of Darfur. They're sometimes wrongfully characterized as the Janjaweed, the government-backed militia involved in much of the violence of the past four years. But as Mohammed discovered, the Rizgat Bedouin are themselves struggling to preserve their way of life in a region torn apart by the conflict. Forever on the move. These are the Arabs of Darfur. Their journey has no map. Their compass, only one drawing point, the need to survive. Wherever nature smiles with fertility, that is their new land. Khamis is a Bedouin. His tribe, the Arab Rizegat, have lived in Darfur for centuries. Yet, they are still uprooted, vulnerable and poor. Because we are on the move, we don't have villages of our own. People say Arabs have no land, but I can count a hundred of my ancestors buried in Al Fashir and in North and South Darfur. As night falls on the open range, Hamis and his family are at the mercy of both the conflict and the weather. And when the land becomes dry or dangerous, it's time they decide to move. The family readies all their earthly possessions. An entire house will be packed on a camel's back. Layering the camel is more than a chore. It is a ritual. <coughs> The Arab Bedouin have developed nomadic life into an art, finding beauty in the throwouts of a modern society they know little about. Isolated and often illiterate, most have never seen a hospital or a school, <coughs> never enjoyed electricity or water from a spout. Do you know Sudan has oil? No, they say that, but I've never seen it. They didn't take up arms to fight marginalization like African tribes. Yet Arabs are the most marginalized people in Darfur. Now the conflict is pushing them to the limit. Life has become very difficult for the Bedouin. The traditional grazing paths have been cut off. People started planting crops in them and they erect fences to keep Arab tribes out. Now the Bedouin have no place left to go. Things are not like they used to be. A young boy like this used to be able to roam very far. Now he is afraid even to leave this camp. We have had a very bitter experience. After this, we are going to make villages and we are going to get education. Now we are going to settle down and make schools for our children. For the Arabs of Darfur, to roam means life, and to settle is to die. But now, drought and war are transforming their world. And a way of life that once meant freedom has become a threat to their very existence. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, with the Arab Rizegat in South Darfur.